Hi builders, today we are going to build a Telegram bot using BuildShip and the Telegram API. So first we will create a new workflow. We will search for Telegram bot and we will remix this template. So right now our Telegram bot is set up to just receive text as input. If it receives voice or a photo, it's going to send a generic message back. We're going to be adding that feature soon, so expect a new video about that. So the first thing we do in the workflow is take in the inputs here. We take in the username, voice, which is a placeholder for now, chat ID, and text. The next node is the Telegram show as typing node, so it's just going to send to the Telegram ID that the chatbot is typing. Then we check if we have text in the input. If so, we go and handle that text. If we don't have text, if it's voice or a photo, for now we are just throwing that into an else branch and it's going to give a generic response. So the first thing we do if it's a valid input is we get the history from the BuildShip database. So BuildShip keeps track of the conversation memory so you don't have to. It gets the history, gets the thread ID from that history, and then uses an OpenAI Assistant to answer the message. To set up the OpenAI Assistant, you have to add your OpenAI API key and add an Assistant ID. To create an API key, go to platform.openai.com slash API keys, create a new secret key, and once you do that, copy it into the build ship add key here. We'll use the one that I already have. And then for the assistant ID, same page here, go to assistance, create a new assistant, name it whatever you want, and then copy the assistant ID. For the model, you can choose whatever you'd like. Uh, we're going to use 4.0 for now. Now that you've copied the assistant ID, come back to build ship and paste it in. So the OpenAI Assistant comes with the ability to add tools. Um, this can be anything like scraping or crawling a URL. It can, you can give a database access to a BuildShip database, Superbase, Airtable. Um, you can add perplexity, lookup, uh, anything you want. So for this one, we're just going to give the standard Telegram bot. We'll add some other tools in future videos. And then finally, we send a Telegram message with the response. So after we send the Telegram message, we come down and do a branch. If there is a thread ID that is provided, then we create a document and output. So the next thing to do is test the workflow. Let's come up here to test. And for the chat ID, we can just add a generic chat ID. This is going to be taken from uh, Telegram anyway. And for the text, let's just put, hi, how are you? Okay, so everything is working well here. Um, we have our OpenAI assistant responding. I'm here and ready to help with your history questions because this is a, the default is a personal history assistant. Um, but we need to connect this to Telegram. So it's saying the overall workflow is saying that we don't have a chat found. So to fix that, let's go and connect the Telegram bot trigger. To get a Telegram key, we need to create a bot. So I'm going to open up Telegram here and we're going to write a message to Botfather. Botfather, you can find by searching the new username Botfather. And this is an easy way to create Telegram bots. It's really an amazing service. Click start here, and we type slash new bot. Let's name this thing. We'll name it BuildShip BS Telegram Demo Bot. We'll give it the same name. I guess you can give it something that's not like Musk names his kids. Okay, I'm going to copy this token here. And we will go back to build ship. So now we can add our key and save that. And just make sure that that key is selected when we click connect. So the first one said error setting webhook. That might have been the first API request. Uh, the second time we clicked it, it's connected. So you can see that pre populated are the username, voice, ID, and text voice and photo and so on are coming soon. One other thing we want to do, just to double check, if you have multiple keys, go back and any of the Telegram nodes, just make sure that you've selected the appropriate key because sometimes you want to send these on multiple bots so it doesn't natively override. And we should be all set. So the next thing that we need to do is ship the workflow. So let's go over to Telegram. We can go and try and chat with a BS Telegram demo bot start the chat and we see that the typing is shown here 
So what was the event that led to the preservation of the city of Pompeii? I've been there, so that's a volcanic eruption. And with this, we're also testing the context window to make sure that it remembers the last question. Perfect. So everything's looking good. Uh, one thing that you should remember is if you want to set up your Telegram bot for group chats, we need to go back to Botfather and we will type set privacy. And I want my VS Telegram demo bot and I want to disable group privacy. And this means that I can now add the bot to a group and it will read every message. If I don't want it to read every message in a group, you can set it up so that it only reads, for example, if there's a slash in front of the messenger. So that's how to set up a Telegram bot using BuildShip and Botfather. Happy building.